Hello everyone, Melanie here with CGL Recruiting and today we're going to be covering the top job sites for those of you that are looking for engineering careers. Now engineering is a lot of things. It's everything from software engineers to mechanical engineers, civil engineers, process engineers, the list goes on and on. So I am going to cover some of those that I feel like are the best for you to look at and I'm also going to show you a kind of secret squirrel way to look for more engineering firms in the US that you can go and apply to. It's a great way if you are that truly active job seeker and willing to put in effort that you can get looked at by a lot more positions. Now, before we start, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that now. Ring that bell for notifications. And if you feel like this information is helpful, give me that thumbs up in the end. Okay, let's dig right in. Our first site that we're gonna take a look at today is Engineer Jobs. From their main webpage, you can just click on that blue Find Jobs, or you can actually choose to look at some of their popular searches. Now on this site, you're gonna find all kinds of engineering roles from mechanical engineers, software developers, SharePoint developers, and the list goes on and on. Now, one thing I really like about this website is when you look at one of the actual job descriptions, you're going to see some key skills that they have put in that they want this person to have. Now that is absolutely critical and let me tell you why. So you should be adjusting your resume for every single position that you apply for. And this site, in the fact that they highlight those key skills, you are doing yourself a crazy disservice if you don't pause before you submit your resume and make sure if you have those skills that they are listed very quickly and easily towards the top of your resume. Now, if you don't have a resume that is optimized to get past all the applicant tracking systems, please go off and view our video on how to do the 2020 resume format. It will help you get looked at more often and it provides you with a really easy way in order to make these changes of adding in key skills that you have when you're trying to change that resume for every single position you apply for. Let's get back to the website and keep going. So looking back at the site, I do want to also point out that there were quite a few positions listed, a total of over 2,800 that were full-time. They also had them sectioned out nicely for temporary and internship roles. Now, one of the other positions I took a look at out here was a process control engineer. And for this one, when I clicked on that apply now button, it did first require me in order to continue on to enter in my name, email, and actually upload my resume and any other documents I had before it would send it through to the employer. Let's keep moving right along with our next one, which is Engineering Central. So once you're at the Engineering Central main website, if you click on that green find a job, you're going to see all the positions that they have open and available. And at the time that we did this, which was June of 2020, there was over 11,000 roles out here and they were very, very varied. Now, the one that I chose to look at was this engineer manufacturing. And if you wanted to apply for the position, it was very easy. All you needed to do was click on that apply now on the right hand side of the screen. I do want to bring up one other thing, and that is if you're looking for a really easy way to section out these jobs, they do give you the opportunity at the very bottom to find jobs by category. And then you can see them split into um, much more reasonable chunks for you to take a look at before you start adding other search filters like location. The next site we're going to take a look at actually did the best job out of all the ones that we looked at and we looked at a lot of them um, that had the best separation by the different disciplines within engineering, and that is engineering.com. On their main webpage, you can see right there that they have the jobs by job category. And like I said, they did a really great job of sectioning the positions into the different functionalities of engineering. Um, you can also, of course, when you click into any one of them, I chose mechanical engineering jobs, then further refine it down by state and of course a lot of other different search filters that they do have available. Now once I pulled up all the mechanical engineering positions, the one that I chose to dig into more was a product design leader. Now on this you're going to see that they actually have the phone uh, and website space for each one of the positions. So the good news is if there's a phone number there, you really hit the jackpot, but at least if there's a website, it gives you a way to go to the actual site to make sure this position is still open and a great way for you to apply direct. 
You can also choose to just hit that purple apply now button on the right if you prefer. I know we're moving kind of quickly on this, but I do want to make sure we can get through all of these and you stick with me to the end where I have a great tip of how to look at some positions that you won't normally see. So let's move on to our next one, which is engineer dash jobs. So from the main website, you can take a look at their recent job postings or just click on the search button to bring up all the positions they currently have available. Again, they had a large variety of different types of engineering positions out here on this site. The one that I chose to click on was this one for a turbine engineer too that was in Pasadena, Texas. When you bring it up, it's gonna bring you all the job details and it actually will take you through submitting your resume for this position, as well as making sure that you can go back and view any submitted applications that you've done in the past. Moving right along, our next one we're gonna look at is nationjob.com. So from the Nation Job main page, you're gonna go over to the left-hand side where you see job seekers, and you'll get an opportunity to view all jobs. Now, when you do that, it's going to bring up the list, which is actually, again, quite extensive and varied. Now, you are gonna see this is a US only site. Now, the position that I chose to click further into was this construction project manager. When you get down to the bottom of the page, you will see that blue apply button, which will then let you send in your resume directly to this company. Now, you know, I always like when we get a job site that does something cool or different. And our next one we're gonna look at is iHireEngineering.com. And one of the things I like on their website is it actually shows you trending job titles. So let's take a look at that website now. Now you'll find that trending job titles place right here at the bottom left of the front home screen. Especially if you're looking at intern type roles, you might wanna look what's current and trending to see if you're wanting to focus your career a little bit if you're still in college. Now, when we went into the actual searching of the jobs, there were over 3,000 jobs total. I chose to look at the ones that were available in Atlanta, Georgia, of which there was over a thousand roles. And the positions did seem to be fairly fresh and had been posted recently. Now, when I went to click into one of these jobs, it did require me to actually register with them on a site utilizing an email address. Or you can choose to do it with Google, LinkedIn, or Facebook if you prefer. I don't like linking those systems directly in, but it is your choice. So when I actually did enter in an email address, it then let me get further into the positions. And you can see that I was able to, from there, click on the apply button and apply direct for the roles. The next site we're gonna take a look at is engineering.jobs. From this main web page, you're going to be able to click right at the top at find jobs to pull up all of the open positions. Now, there were a lot of positions out here that were software engineers, but it is not by any stretch of imagination all that they had. Now, if you're interested in one of the roles, all you have to do is click on it. In this case, I chose the software automation engineer, and it will bring you in to give you more information about the position. In this case, when I went through and clicked that giant apply now button at the top, it did actually take me to that company's website, and you can see this is their applicant tracking system here and I can utilize right here in order to complete in my application for this position. The next site we're gonna take a look at is actually a Canadian job posting site, and they do have more than engineering positions out there, but I was very impressed with how many they had for Canada in engineering and the quality of the postings. So I did wanna go ahead and include this one for you, and that is Workopolis. Now I will say I love how simple Workopolis's main page is. It's very easy to look and see what you're wanting to get to. Now once you click on that find jobs button, if in the top you just put in engineering, it's gonna go ahead and then narrow down the positions to just those that are engineering roles. Now for the positions that are out here, I chose to look at a waste characterization specialist. And when I chose to click on the apply now button, it did take me to a page that I had to complete certain information, but this is right where you go ahead and upload your resume and you can attach additional documents that you may have to support your candidacy for a role. And then all you have to do when you have it all uploaded is click on that continue button. 
The next website we're going to take a look at is the American Society for Mechanical Engineers. And I do wish they made the job thing a little bit more clear of how to get to it on this page, but they don't. No worries, let me show you how to get to it right now. Now when you get to the ASME main page, you're going to have to arrow down quite a bit, but eventually you're going to see this blue bar come across that says job board. And this is where you can actually find all the positions that they do have posted. Now it is going to give you a warning when you click on this telling you that you are leaving the ASME.org and you just have to click on continue in order to get to the actual job board. And you will see at the top that the web address changes a little bit. Now, once you're at their career center, you can choose to upload a resume or you can just do a job search. Now, when I did a search, there was over 13,000 positions out here. It is a lot, so great opportunities for you. There's something that I'd like to bring your attention to on this page, and that is the ability to search by categories. This site too did a really good job of taking the mechanical engineering function and splitting it out into different areas of specialty. You will notice here though that even though it's ASME, they do have positions for chemical engineering, electrical engineering, and more. I do recommend, no matter what kind of engineer you are, it might be worth your while to go out here and just take a look to see if there's something you might be interested in. So when I looked through the engineering positions, the one that I chose to click on was a manager of project management that is located in California. There was lots of great data out here about the position and all I had to do was click that large green apply now button at the top and it does take you to a place where you are required to enter in your email address in order to continue to apply. Our next site that we're going to take a look at is the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. Now, this is a very large organization that is global, so there are lots of great positions out here for you. Let's take a look now. Now, it is not easy from this website to figure out where to go to find all the great positions that they have. If you go all the way down to the very bottom of their web page, you're going to see under Get Involved a little arrow that says Technical Careers. Once you click on technical careers, it's going to take you to their job site. Now, of course, you can look at feature jobs, browse popular categories, or actually just go in and look at the jobs that are available. The position that I chose to look further at was an RF systems architect that's located in California. And this one actually happens to be with Apple. Now, when you go to the position, it does have key qualifications and more information. But when you click that apply now button, it's going to prompt you to enter your email before it's gonna let you continue to apply. And then it's gonna take you directly to the company's website. You can see here, it's located at jobs at Apple. Our next one we're gonna take a look at is the Institution of Engineering and Technology. From their main website, just arrow down until you see on the right hand side, engineering jobs. Once you click on that, it's going to take you into their job board. Now there was about 138 jobs listed on here at the time that we looked, which was June, 2020, which of course was not the best of economic times, but the positions out here looked fairly fresh. The position that I chose to go a little bit further in depth on was a product safety and environmental engineer. Now for this position, it was very easy to just click on that apply button at the top right and it brought me right to the company's website where I could submit in my application. Our next site is a really cool specialty one, but I thought some of you might be interested and that's the Audio Engineering Society. Once you get to their main website, go up to the Education and Career Center and there you're going to see the link to their job board. Now on their job board, you can see there's not a whole lot of positions on here, but most of them were fairly fresh. The position that I chose to look further into was an acoustic applications engineer. Now for this role, when I went in, it had a really great job description for this position. And you can also see direct information as to where you could send an email about this role and the website where you could apply online. Let's move on now to the National Society of Professional Engineers. From the main website, you can actually see the job board right on the right hand side of the screen. Now, when you click into there, there's lots of different positions. There was about 355 at the time that we looked at this. 
Now the positions were varied with everything from electrical engineers to power engineering managers, a director of public works. What we chose to dig a little bit deeper into was a vehicle accident reconstruction engineer. Now, when you go down into the position a little bit further, you will see at the very bottom, there is that create a job alert for similar jobs if you're interested, but you're also going to see an email address of somebody that you can actually email direct about this role and you even have the person's phone number. When you find stuff like this, it is gold when you're interested in a job. So because it had it on this one, I would tend to look at more positions on this website. Now I will tell you another great thing that they offer is with their Twitter account, if you sign up, if you sign up at NSP Engineering Jobs, it will actually send you jobs as they are opened. And that is a great way to make sure you're getting in right ahead. So for those of you that have Twitter, this is a great option. Now this next bit we're gonna talk about is more specific, of course, to the United States, because we're gonna talk about engineering organizations within the different states. So while there are organizations that go for the entire US, there's lots that are just for single states. Let me show you one of those now. So this website is for the Texas Society of Professional Engineers. And when I go on their website, right towards the top, you're gonna to see they have a career center. And from this career center, you can actually look at all of the jobs that they have available on this website. In this case, I chose to click through a principal mechanical engineer. Now this is important because every state pretty much has some kind of association like this and this is a much smaller site, so you're going to have less people applying. That is always a great thing for you as a job seeker. So make sure you take the time to look in your state to see if there is a local association of engineers. Now, here is my great trick for you. Now, engineers within each state have to be registered, and in many of the states, so does the actual engineering firm. And every state has some way for you to look up the engineering licenses. And this is easy to find out. You just have to do a Google search that says, you know, engineering license lookup or engineering firm lookup, and then enter in your state. And it should bring up options. And in the first couple on there on Google, you're gonna find the right site. Let me show you what the power of one of these sites are, especially if you're looking to kind of just get into your engineering career. Um, this is a grassroots way to really connect with a lot of engineering firms. Let's take a look. So this is actually the Texas Board of Professional Engineers and Land Surveyors. Now, if you look over on the left-hand side, you're going to see that there is the PE roster, the EIT roster, and the firm roster. When I click on the firm roster, it gives me a chance to search for registered firms. And I just have to enter in a couple of things and it will bring up the search firms. So in this case, I chose to enter in Houston, Texas. So when I clicked it, you will see it then brought up a huge number of firms. In fact, it brought up 1,559 firms in Houston, Texas. Now you do need to look at the firms a little bit because it will tell you on the left-hand side if their engineering firm is still active with a license or not. But what great information it gives you of the phone number and the names of all of these firms, even the address. Now, if you are really looking for an engineering job, you just got a huge list of firms in your local area that you can go off and contact. And especially in, it's right now June of 2020, and the economy is the worst it's been in quite a while. And for you as job seekers, you need to go the extra mile. You need to do stuff like contacting each one of these firms and see what type of engineering positions they have available. This is a great way for you to connect with ones that maybe just haven't posted a job yet, but may still have a need. So while I pulled this for Texas, you should be able to find this, like I said, in most states in the US. 
I hope this video was helpful to you and will help you land that engineering role, whether you're mechanical, civil, electrical, petroleum, whatever. I hope you find the right role out there for you on one of these job sites. If you feel like this information was helpful, please don't forget to give me that thumbs up and I hope you share the information with other job seekers who are also looking for their next great role. Thanks.